Welcome back everybody to the Cowboy Slot channel where we bring you experienced advice from years of working in the casinos, tips, reviews, and so much more. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell to stay notified for when we come out with future episodes. Today, we're going to go over the top five video poker tips to help you become a better video poker player. We have with us today Matt and Steve Borey from the Jackpot Gents who have over 20 years of experience with video poker. So strap in and let's get started with their top five tips to video poker. Welcome back, everybody, to the Cowboy Slot channel. I am joined today by Matt and Steve Borey of the Jackpot Gents, who are video poker experts. And today we're covering the top five tips to bettering your video poker play. So, Matt and Steve, welcome. I appreciate you being here. How's it going? Thanks for Good to us. be here. Now, I just I, I'm on the Cowboy Slots channel today, so I had to I had to break out my stats. There we go. Just for you. <laughs> just for you. I, I had to dig it out of the closet. All right. I, unfortunately, right. I don't have one. All, All right. of mine are up on the rack in the back there. I see that. Yeah. So <laughs> I got to be official for the Cowboy Slots YouTube channel. There we go. So, yeah, today we're going to talk about uh, five tips to make yourselves uh, a better video poker player because there's a lot, there's several things you can do, uh, you know, that are going to make you lose less money and hopefully win more money in the long run. And the number one tip is you need to learn how to identify good video poker games because uh, there's a video poker. It has to be legally based off the odds of one fifty two card deck or uh, 54 if you're playing Joker's Wild. But so the only way the casino can change the payback of the game since they can't change the odds of the cards coming out is they have to change how much they can pay you for each hand. So if you've watched any of our videos before, uh, whether it be the jackpot gents or the American casino guide book, what we used to be, we talk about, you know, you'll hear us say like nine, six jacks are better, eight, five bonus poker, seven, five jacks are better. We throw in all these numbers and those are how you identify the different games. And, uh, those numbers signify what the game pays back for one betting one coin on a full house and one coin on a flush. So if we say uh, nine, six jacks are better, which is the best version of jacks are better you can find, it's going to pay nine credits per coin for a full house and six credits per coin for a flush. So on a full five card bet or five coin bet, it's going to uh, pay 45 for the full house and 30 for the flush. And casinos can have, depending on the, how the casino runs their, their uh, ship, you know, they can have good video poker in some places, bad video poker in other places. Or they might have good video poker and bad video poker sitting right next to each other on the same bank of machines. And it's up to you, the player, to be able to identify those. Cause you know, like, and because in Jacks are Better, for instance, uh, full pay 96 pays back 99.54% if played perfectly. And then for every one coin that they drop it, it lowers the payback by 1.1%. So if you're playing like 96 Jacks are Better, if they have a nine, six jacks are better right here. And the one right next to it is in, you know, that's a uh, 2.2% uh, payback that it's lower. So why play the machine on the right that pays back, uh, you know, 97 and a half percent when you can play the machine right in front of you that pays back 99 and a half percent. So that would be the number one tip. And the easiest way to do that is there's a website that my dad and I use. If we ever go to casinos, we're not familiar with. It's called VP free two that's VP free. And then the number two.com and they have a list. It's, it's curated by uh, volunteers all over the country and they list the best uh, video poker machines in the casino. And they even have little notes that say where in the casino it is. Like it'll say in the high limit room or like across from the buffet or next to the sports book or something like that. So that's probably tip number one. The most important thing is to be able to identify uh, what are good machines and what are bad machines? All right, I, I want to give some input here, but, but basically maybe we should have started this off by saying the difference between a slot machine and a video poker machine is that on a slot machine, it's all luck. You have no control over the outcome. With video poker, 
that yes, there's luck involved, but there's also skill involved. So if you are a knowledgeable player and you know how to play your hands properly, you in the long run will do better uh, on that game than someone who sits there and guesses how to play their hands. And uh, on a slot machine, if a casino wants to pay you less money, if they, if they have a, a 90, let's say they have a 95% machine and they want to make it pay 90% or say 85%, all they do is reprogram in more losing combinations. So that there's more losing combinations, fewer winning combinations. So in the long run, instead of that machine paying 95%, they'll pay 85%. But when it comes to video poker, like Matt said, it's based on a 52 card deck, unless there's jokers involved, and uh, they can't they can't change it. There's a, I think a six point uh, uh, whatever it is, uh, uh, six point three million uh, unique video poker hands. So they can't change that. The only thing they can do is change the amount they pay you, make it less, so the machine pay, pays back less. But when they do that. You can look on the screen right there on the on the machine, and you say, "Okay, this one's uh, uh, pays less than this one over here, so I'm going to go play this one over here." And like Matt said, every time it, they usually make it in the in the flush and in the, uh, in the uh, full house, and every time they reduce it by one percent, it reduces the overall payback by one point one percent. But I think that was sort of uh, in, in, important to throw that in there so people get the big picture of why video poker is a better game to play than uh, a slot machine. Absolutely. So one of the biggest takeaways is, of course, it's something we talk about all the time on this channel, always read your pay tables, because especially on video poker, that pay table can tell you plain and clear what that payback percentage is going to be on that machine. So always read your pay tables. It is extremely important on every machine, but in particular video poker. So uh, the number two most important thing to do is like my dad had sort of just touched on is learn how to play the games because video poker is a game of skill and there's a correct, there's a best way to play each particular uh, hand that you're dealt. So that's uh, these high paybacks we talk about in video poker. That's only if you're playing the game correctly. Right. And, and the strategy will change depending on the game. It's from, if you play jacks are better, the strategy is different if you play uh, bonus, uh, well, slight, might be slightly better, uh, different in bonus poker, much more different in double bonus poker, much more different in double double bonus poker, much more different in triple double, um, triple donuts. <laughs> and <laughs> triple, triple double, double bonus poker. Yeah. And so, way, so, way different in Deuces Wild or Joker's oh, yeah. Wild once you get games that start getting uh, wild cards involved. And, and then in those deuces games, there's different variations of the deuces. But but you can have the same deuce. Let's say you're playing a, a, a double bonus. The strategy in that can change too, depending on the pay table you're playing. So not only does it change from game to game, it could change within the game itself, depending on the pay table. So what you want to do is you want to learn uh, some of your favorite games. And you want to try and master that strategy. So there's a couple of ways uh, you can do that. Uh, one is you can get um, strategy cards. And uh, strategy cards, sometimes you, you can, uh, I don't think they sell those in the casino. They sell blackjack strategy cards, but there are strategy cards for, for video poker. We actually, we have some on our website, americancasinoguidebook.com. If you go to the video poker section, we have free uh, uh, video poker strategy cards. It's just for nine, six or eight, five jacks or better but it's a start. Those are the simplest games. So that's probably what you want to start with. As you get more comfortable with it and you're, and you're familiar with the strategy, you can, I would say, move on to other games. But I would suggest that, you know, if, if you're new to it, just, just start there. And uh, another way to, to learn the strategy is we have, uh, we sell training software on our website, or you, you can get training software on the internet, or there's a website uh, called videopoker.com where they have uh, paid memberships that give you uh, training that teach you how to play the hands. And if any of your uh, viewers, we have a special offer where you get 14 days for free and you don't have to give them a credit card number or anything. It's just uh, videopoker.com slash gents for the jackpot gents. And they can uh, get a free 14 day trial and, and give it a whirl, see if uh, learning video poker is something they want to do. Cause you can buy the software, but you know, you got to pay, 20, 30, 50 bucks, depending on the software. And, you know, if you end up not liking video poker, there's no reason to buy it ahead of time. So you can uh, try this trial for free if you want. 
and see if uh, video poker is actually going to be your thing or not. Mm -hmm. Very good. And, and what? Well, yeah, sorry, sorry, but but if we suggest if if you learn with video poker software, and uh, you become comfortable with it, you will gradually because because the software will tell you if you made a mistake or not and tell you how to play your hand properly. But it's a little foreign in the beginning. But as you become comfortable with it, you'll find that you'll and it'll tell you what percent of your hands you played correctly, how much it cost you in the, in errors, things like that. But as you get better at it you'll know how to play most of these hands, but there's some still, you have uh, strange hands that you're not familiar with. And uh, like I, I always carry in my wallet, a strategy card with me. So what you wanna do is carry that uh, strategy card with you. So when you get into the casino itself and you don't know how to play the hand, you can pull out the strategy card, take a look at it. And, and the casino isn't gonna bother you for, for looking at that. But that's the best way to learn to be a better video poker player, use the software and use the strategy cards. And now number three is a uh, tip that I'm sure you've given your slot player uh, viewers, and it applies to slots and video poker, and that is uh, always use your Players Club card. Yes. That is very important. Uh, there's a lot of myths out there that say, oh, you know, if you use your Players Club card, the casino is going to lower the payback, and all, all uh, you name it, there's a, a myth about it. And uh, that's just not true. Uh, so you should, well, there is an asterisk here. Always use your Players Club card when you're playing, unless you're just like running into the casino to play for like five minutes because you're picking up a gift or something, or if you're just going to play for a few minutes before like a dinner reservation. Uh, if you're going in for a very short trip, you don't, you shouldn't use your Players card. But if you're going in for like a normal long visit where you plan on playing for a good bit of time, uh, you definitely want to use your Players Club card because you know, the casino is going to give you free offers and stuff, you know, free rooms, free food, free show tickets, whatever. Uh, but they can't give you those offers if they don't know you're playing. And the only way they're going to know you're playing is if you use your Players Club card. So, you know, that is uh, very important because all of these games, almost every single video poker game, the casino has an advantage over you. So the longer you play, the more money you're probably going to lose in the long run. You're going to be playing a losing game. So, you want to use the comps that the casino uh, gives you to hopefully uh, turn it into a break-even game or even make uh, some money if you find very good games. Uh, while you were talking about that, one thing dawned on me that uh, originally we didn't say it, but there are some video poker games that actually return over 100%. A and people people say, well, how could that be? How could they put a video poker that's going to return over 100%? Well, they can do that. They can't do that with a slot machine because it's all random lock. If they had a 101% slot machine and you sit in there, hit the button, and in the long run, you, you'd be making money over the casino. But when it comes to video poker, Again, we go back to the fact that there's a skill involved. So unless someone knows how to properly play their hands, uh, they wouldn't uh, be able to achieve that ultimate payback. Uh, it's like full pay deuces wild, I believe is 100.76. Now you, you can still find that in some places in Nevada, uh, but you won't find it at, uh, I don't think you'll find it at a denomination higher than a quarter. You're not gonna find it for 50 cents, dollar, five dollar, because the uh, casinos, there are professional video poker players out there, and they know how to play these games pretty much perfectly, and they would be able to make a living off these games, but the earnings per hour and a quarter machine isn't enough to make a living. So, you know, the casinos are willing to tolerate it in order to promote the fact that they have over 100% payback in their casino. But uh, they're not gonna they're not gonna give it to you in fifty cents or dollar or five dollar whatever because it'll be too profitable for for a player. So yes, you can find video poker games that do return more than one hundred percent. And now number four is uh, make sure that you're playing a game that's right for your uh, your bankroll. You know, it, you don't want to overbet your bankroll. That's very important. That's very important. And this is another one that goes with the slots and the video poker. You know, if you if you only bring five hundred dollars to the casino and you want to be playing for a long time, you know, like an hour or two with your five hundred bucks, you're not going to be. Don't sit down at a you know a dollar ten play machine that's fifty dollars a spin. You know, you'll you'll be out of money in ten spins. It's like thirty seconds. So I think that's very important. Uh, a lot of people might not think to include that on lists, but I like to uh, include that. 
Well, now, he, 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 this is something that Matt and I uh, sort of disagree on in, in, in this. Because on, on our channel, the Jackpot Chance, every day we show us going in the casino and we play video poker. We release a new uh, video every day. And, and we have a fundamental difference of opinion because he likes to play these volatile games. And I like to play less volatile. He likes a double, double bonus, triple, double bonus, deuces, uh, deuces, wild bonus, deluxe, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I pointed out, well, you, you know, uh, when you play those games, you are going to have uh, fewer winning sessions. Yes, uh, when you have a winning session, chances are your wins will be a lot higher, but you need a bigger bankroll to play those because you're going to have fewer winning sessions. And, and if our idea is to put out winning videos, uh, we're going to have to make a lot more, uh, we're going to have a lot more sessions to try and get a, a good winning video. So people, that's something else that people need to keep in mind. Every, and you can see this, if you use the video back to the video poker software again, there's a volatility factor and you can rate these uh, games in the, in the volatility index. So uh, the, the rarer the hands, the higher the volatility. So you got to be careful that uh, you have enough bankroll if you're going to play a volatile game to outlast these, uh, you could go very long be between winning sessions. So that's one thing. And the other, the other thing when we're talking about overbetting your bankroll, some people say, oh, you know, I'm a quarter player. But if I bet a, a dollar, dollar denomination instead of a quarter denomination, I'll get my comps faster. Well, yeah, you get your comps faster, but your overall uh, 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 losing uh, percentage is going to be higher. So you, you have to keep that in mind. I mean, you can calculate the, the uh, casino's mathematical edge over you and how much you're expected to lose. If you are playing a um, quarter game with a two, per, uh, let's say 1% house edge, if you put $100 an hour, you're expected to lose 1% of that $1 an hour. If you double that, you're expected to lose two. Triple it, you're expected to lose three. So, so yes, you can uh, bet more money and get more comps, but your expected rate of loss per hour uh, is, is going to go up. So that's something you have to keep in mind. It's, it's sometimes you're a lot better off just paying for something. I know everyone likes a free uh, dinner, but sometimes you're better off paying for that dinner than trying to gamble for it. So when we're talking about um, volatility with video poker, because obviously on, on our channel, we talk about volatility a lot with slot machines. And one of the biggest things we always talk about is, again, always looking at your machine and looking at everything. And um, typically a key thing with slot machines is especially, you know, like we always say, the longer the title or the more complicated or the more words that you put in the title of something, the chances are it's higher in volatility. So, you know, if you look at a slot machine and you've got double diamond, but then you have, you know, super mega ultra triple double diamond bonus you know it, typically the longer the longer the title the more volatile it's going to be is that kind of the same way with video poker like you've got you know jacks are better and then you've got all the way all these you know tri uh triple times you know super times pay multiply mm -hmm. like is that kind of the same key with video poker that people should be aware of yes uh, definitely. So for instance, my dad was sort of touched on this. He was making fun. He couldn't even remember the names of all the video poker games. Because uh, so for instance, the one he likes to play is Jacks are better. That's uh, the least well, volatile video poker game you can find in the casino. I, I've moved on to bonus poker deluxe. I, I like okay. bonus poker deluxe. Well, yeah. just not well, as an So as an example, Jacks are better is the least volatile game you can play in a casino. Uh, on the pay table, if you look at the pay table, a Royal Flush is going to pay 4000 credits on a max bet. Under that is a straight flush for 250. Under that is four of a kind. All four of a kinds pay 125. And then it goes down from there to the less volatile or the more common hands pay less. If you're to look on something like double, double bonus, which is something that I like, that's going to be a much more volatile game. The same thing is uh, Royal Flush pays 4,000. Uh, straight flush pays 250. And then uh, a regular four of a kind pays 250 credits. But then they give you bonuses. If you get like uh, a four of a kind and it's twos, threes, or fours, it's going to pay 400 credits. If you get four aces, it's going to pay 800 credits. If you get four aces with a kicker and the kicker being a uh, two, three, or four, it's going to pay 2,000 credits. So you got to just, it's uh, just very similar to a uh, slot machine. You know, you look at the top end and the, the more money that they can pay you on more hands, the more volatile it's going to get. 
Yep. The main the main trick is if you want to tell the difference between a video poker machine that is high volatility and low volatility, look at what it pays you for two pair. Uh, so on a max bet, you're betting five credits. Jacks are better is going to pay even money, five credits. If on uh, jacks are better, the vi video poker game, uh, two pair pays double your money. So it's going to pay 10 credits. Double, double bonus and all those crazy volatile games, two pair pays even money. So that's probably the, the easiest rule of thumb is if you want to look for a low volatility game, find a game where two pair pays double your money. If you want to find a high volatility game, uh, look to see whatever pays the most for a four of a kind is probably if we're going to, if we're going to slim it down to a real quick uh, rule of thumb, I would say that's, the, that's the way to go. Number five, and we're going back to our general, this, this applies to pretty much any game you play in the casino. Uh, and we like to refer to it as speed kills, which is don't play too fast because you're playing a game where the casino has an advantage over you. And uh, we go back to the more money you put through, the faster you make your bets, the more money you're putting into play, the higher your expected losses. But, and I'm sure we've all seen them, the people in there who, you, you watch them play video poker, you don't understand how they can play that fast, boom, 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 <laughs> you know? And I mean, it's not a race. You're you're there to have fun, to enjoy yourself, to you know, relax and enjoy it. There's just no point in in you know, playing as as fast as you possibly can. I, I never quite understand people that do that. Yeah, and it's um, I tend to play fast, and even even sometimes I'll see people that play that are playing so fast it makes my head spin, and I'm just mm -hmm. I I just see some because my dad always tells me when we're playing the videos to slow down because I tend to play fast, and I even I'll see people that I'm just like whoa, like mm -hmm. I can't even keep track of what's going on on the screen, and I play pretty darn fast, so that is probably <laughs> that's the easiest tip if you want to save money and have your money last longer in the casino just play slower yeah the the other thing is you're more, you're more likely to make mistakes because even playing slowly and more slowly as we do sometimes just just before you hit that you know draw button you say oh geez i missed the pair there so uh I, those people have to make uh, more mistakes i would think and and you know we spoke before that sometimes you can find they are very rare to find nowadays, but you can find games where you could have a mathematical edge over the casino, either because of the pay table itself, which is more than 100%. Those are very hard to find. But some casinos, they have a near 100% game. And if you factor in the cash back they will give you or the bounce back cash, it might bring your total play up to a return over 100% when you factor that in. Now, if you were in a situation like that and you had a mathematical edge over the casino, actually, it would be to your advantage to play as fast as you can without uh, making mistakes. Without making mistakes, to uh, because you're, the faster you play, the more money you would make. It would be a reverse situation before. And the only other time I, I would suggest uh, if you wanted to play fast is if you were in a video poker tournament. Sometimes you've heard of slot tournaments. Everyone gets together and they tap the button as fast as they can to get their score. If you were playing in a, a video poker tournament, you'd probably want to play as fast as you could. So, you know, because I give you like, a, you know, five minutes to play, you'd probably want to get in as many hands as possible. So maybe there you would want to play. But, but otherwise, you know, if you're just going in a uh, regular player, don't. Don't don't try and uh, be a speed demon. Just play at a nice, comfortable pace. Very good. Well, guys, thank you so, so much for all of those very helpful tips uh, on video poker. I know that's going to help out a lot of people tremendously. Are there any other closing things that you would uh, like to share with the audience on uh, video poker or yourself or anything like that? Yeah, uh, sure. You go ahead, Matt. Oh, I was just going to say our YouTube channel is youtube.com slash the jackpot gents. Go give us a follow there. And that's where we do uh, almost daily videos about our live play in the casinos, which is almost exclusively video poker. And then we, we have a new YouTube channel that we're just kicking off. It's youtube.com slash at sign American casino guide book. And that's where we're going to, we used to do informational educational videos 
And we're going to be uh, putting that channel is going to be the American Casino Guide book channel is going to be dedicated uh, strictly to educational videos on how to play of all sorts of things. So if you want to learn, uh, there's not much on that channel right now, but we're going to start putting our, our old videos up on that channel uh, to learn how to play. So that's definitely the two things. Uh, the Jackpot Gents, we're on all social media. And then the educational uh, gambling channel on YouTube is going to be uh, youtube.com slash at sign uh, American Casino Guidebook. And the only thing the only thing I would want to add is uh, we do have our original website because we used to put out a book. I put out a book for 28 years, a guidebook uh, to all the casinos in the United States. And we had the website AmericanCasinoGuidebook.com. Uh, if you want to go there, there's information on casinos, and there's also a lot of information there on video poker. So um, if you want more information, uh, you can find a lot of stuff there. Very good. Well, thank you guys very, very much. So um, everybody out there watching, be sure to check out the Jackpot Gents on YouTube, as well as uh, American Casino Guide book, new channel coming out. Be sure to subscribe to both of those and check it out. And uh, best of luck to everybody out there on your video poker journey. I hope that these tips were very, very helpful. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Uh, I'm Brantley, and we've got the Jackpot Gents here, Matt and Steve Bory uh, from the Jackpot Gents. Uh, going over video poker. As always, stay safe, take care, and we will see you again next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Check out these other videos and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more slot tips. It's always free. Visit ropethejackpot.com for free guides and a whole lot more. Catch you on the next episode.